Shout out to Sam from the Puck Stops here, wearing your new shirt, love it, perked this up, uh, as you may know, um, online uh, about a week ago, and it just came in the mail yesterday, so wearing it today, uh, hopefully it gives some of the teams like the Leafs uh, goalies um, some playoff good luck, uh, but love the shirt and happy to do a shout out to you and um, all the great work that you're doing on uh, YouTube and your great videos. So, uh, what's in the bag uh, for me? So, I guess first off, I've got um, a big goalie bag here, as you can see. Uh, is uh, got this from Goalie Heaven. This is a solid bag. Um, love the, the size of the strap, so easily uh, putting that on your shoulder. It's got um, three solid wheels here, as you can see. It's got um, reinforcement through the back of the bag so that if you have to drag it down stairs or um, um, pull it uh, with a lot of heavy stuff in it, it's, it's, it's a solid bag overall. So if you're looking for a new bag and you're in the Toronto area, um, that might be a suggestion for you to, uh, to check out. So, uh, first off, uh, let's go with, um, okay, how about we start with the pants? So, pants, these are Vaughn um, Velocity 1000 Pros, as you can see here. Uh, they are a medium size, so I'm six feet tall, and these fit really well. Um, I would say, overall, great protection. Uh, they don't weigh a ton. Um, I'm not a big suspenders guy, but if you are interested in wearing suspenders, it has the flexibility on here to add those, uh, but I think with just the laces out front here and the belt, these fit me really well, and um, we've got cutouts in the back, so if you want some extra flex in your legs, got that, and overall, um, really good protection, and just the inside's got a bit of that metallic thread sewn through here, so I think that does also cut down on the bacteria which in turn cuts down on any smells. Because I know as goalies, we sweat a lot in that often, and um, uh, the easier your equipment dries out with less stink, the better for you, your spouse, and your family. <laughs> uh, next up, okay, how about we do skates? So these are Bauer Vapor uh, X700s. I've had these since last September, I believe, and just love them. Really love them. They're really light, so they don't have a cowling, which has cut down on the weight. They um, have the um, easily removable blades. So you got the trigger here, so you can pop out the blades if they get broken. Um, or if you need to swap blades quickly uh, because of dulling it on the post or other things, so that's really great. Um, I would say this offers just the right amount of support within the foot and the ankle, but also giving you um, enough flexibility so that when you are down uh, crouching and in butterfly, your ankles can move fluidly. I also picked up these uh, really cool skate guards. These are custom skate guards from Goalie Heaven. And by no means am I a sponsor, sponsored by Goalie Heaven. I'm just um, singing their praises on some of their products and some of the things that they've um, recommended to me when purchasing some of my equipment. So they custom make these skate guards. They're actually, which is, which is really interesting, this is actual uh, old uh, fire hose that they use and so um, these work really well with keeping the blade protected but also um, enough aeration so the blade dries if it's damp and also if you are in the house wearing your skates and your skate guards they stay on so shout out on those custom skate guards uh, helmet and mask so this is 
a sport mask, and it's an X8 sport mask. I've had this since I've been a goalie uh, over the last seven months. Absolutely love this mask. It, I've probably taken about mm, 10 to 15 pucks to the head. It's really rigid. <clears throat> so um, you, you can take some really good shots and not feel it. The padding is excellent, uh, as you can kind of see there. Got a chin, chin strap, which I prefer versus a chin sling. And uh, the uh, artwork on here, uh, did this through custom cages. Really great service. Um, uh, just a shout out to them and, and the great work that they did is you just go online, order um, a pattern and color, and then you can provide your own custom graphics and logos, which I did. So I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I've got a Stormtrooper on one side, Boba Fett on the other. And on the back, I've got my Cerebral Czars team logo, and then one logo on the front. I preferred to have that versus um, you have the option to put uh, numbers there, which is kind of neat. I also have a uh, neck guard here. I swear by these neck guards. I know a lot of goalies complain that they get all fogged up, they get wet, uh, they get in the way. I'm telling you, as um, a beginner goalie, I've taken lots of sticks and pucks off of this thing. And it's been um, absolute, um, the ultimate protection that I will never take off. So for all boys out there, it's worth having. Um, cat eye mask, uh, this is a highly um, reinforced steel uh, center here. So I'm not too worried about pucks coming through. Um, you always worry about the odd stick maybe coming through, but um, I'm willing to take that risk. And... Um, just love the visual um, ability to see within this mask is excellent. So, really solid mask. With that, it, uh, you have the option. I've got several headbands. Um, I would say that uh, I love the headband that comes with it. The nice thin sport mask headband. I've got a couple of those. I don't sweat a ton um, around my head, but I also bought this thicker one. So uh, for goalies that do sweat a lot, this is probably a good option. I just found when it was on my head, it kind of creeped down a bit and would get into my eyes with some of the fuzz here. And sometimes I just found this one, um, I got a bit too hot uh, because of the thickness of this one. And it wasn't as breathable as these smaller ones. So just a preference. Um, Undergarments. So I wear um, full length uh, dry fit underwear. I love these Nike ones. Um, these ones have a good softness, breathability to them, and I just like the full length to cover my legs, um, especially with the pad straps if they're scra scraping or irritating the legs. It's nice to have that extra layer on the back of my leg. Socks. Um, I picked these up at Pro Hockey Life recently. They're CCMs and they're um, bamboo uh, thread woven. Um, what I like the most about these socks is that they're the length, so they go full uh, length to the knee. They also have a nice um, an amount of thickness to them so that my feet stay warm, and, but not too thick that I feel like my, I can't feel my toes. So it's a good balance of um, uh, thickness while also offering some flexibility in the skate to allow your feet and, uh, to move and, and have some breathability. But overall, really good uh, um, sock if you're kind of looking at some different socks out there. Um, going on the theme of clothing, uh, these are just some samples of the jerseys I wear. Um, this is our... Uh, Cerebral's large jersey or, or away one. So using the uh, Minnesota Wild uh, colors. So really love the look of that. And then, then we've got the white one. Just picked these up this year. So number 35. And uh, the socks. I'm a big fan of the dry fit socks. Uh, as a goalie, I really like the breathability of them. I found that the um, knit socks were just a lot heavier and 
I found that my legs were often overheating, so I, I, I really swear by these types of socks. And they're much lighter, too. Um, other undergarments, I'm a big comic book kind of guy, so you know what? Got Spider Man here and um, Punisher. So you can see the, the skulls on either arm. All right, next up is the jock. This is the Bauer Supreme Max SOR3 Bauer Supreme Jock. Uh, Goalie Heaven um, recommended this jock to me, and I'm very thankful they did because I absolutely love this product. It's a double jock. So you have jock one here, and then jock number two. And I have taken full on direct hit slap shots off this a couple times and no pain. So if you're looking to protect your, one of your most important items, which would be, you know what, um, Bauer does make a great product here. Lots of customization with the waistband and also the leg bands here. So I highly recommend this product. Next up, um, I do wear a couple um, uh, knee um, support items. One is for my left knee. Um, I had an MCL injury a number of years ago and that knee's never been the same. So I just like having some extra stability and a um, bit of protection on that knee in case it tweaks inside the pad. So there's this McDavid um, product I'm using right now that gives a lot of good flexibility. Um, but also keeps the knee snug, and I really like that one. My right knee, I took a guy came slamming into me, and I tweaked that knee a little bit. It's pretty much back to normal, but I just use a really light sleeve on that. It just gives me that uh, extra comfort that um, I've got a bit more stability there. So for goalies out there that might be struggling with knee support and what have you, here are two items that uh, work really well for me. So on the theme of knees, uh, knee guards. So the guards I've got are the Warrior um, knee guards. So these are a senior product, and it's the Warrior Ritual X. And I just love these guards. So really solid. Um, what I like most about these knee guards is um, it's this pro this item here. It's this elastic, and it just snugly goes over your knee and just keeps it in place. Um, so when you're going down in butterfly, coming up, uh, you're not slipping uh, as much as some of the other knee guards out there. Uh, they're extremely lightweight. I have taken some slap shots directly off the knee. Uh, no major bruises or anything like that, but they are um, a thinner knee pad. So if you're concerned about um, taking slap shots off the knee or upper knee, um, these might not be for you. I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of lightness um, to do that, but I'll probably be trying out some other knee guards soon just to do a bit of a comparison at some point. But overall, I think Warriors got a really good product with um, uh, these knee pads. Um, going through just about every piece of equipment, water bottle, I just picked this one up cheaply at Canadian Tire. Uh, I've used the one with the stem to easily stick in your mask. I've gone to this one, which is the sort of a projectile squirt spray. I really like this one. It, I'm able to keep my mask on and shoot it right in through the cage into my mouth. Uh, no problem. So uh, if you're um, looking for a, a water ball upgrade or whatever, this type of product I've been happy with. Uh, next up would be neck guard. So pick this up from Goalie Heaven. It's the uh, Crouch uh, neck guard. It's extremely lightweight. It's a lot of foam on here. Easily uh, goes around your neck and then goes under your shoulder pads. This has served me really well. I like it. It doesn't restrict my head or movement. 
and um, it makes me feel comfortable that my neck is protected from any skates, sticks, or pucks. Um, so overall, I, I think there's there's probably some other better neck guards out there, but this one, yeah, does the trick, and I've been satisfied with that. Glove. I did a review recently on this glove. It's the Bauer S170 glove. As you can see, it's a little bit cleaner than when I did the review. Um, recently took a magic eraser and just scrubbed this glove down. Still a lot of marks in there, but much better than it was. And uh, as I mentioned in my review, it's an entry-level glove. It's okay, but nothing fantastic. Next up, Bauer Spring S170 blocker, similarly entry-level glove uh, blocker, I should say. Um, I've been mixed reviews on this blocker. It does the job. I, I can direct pucks really easily. I like the sidewall protection on here is really good. Not happy with the where the stick placement is. Find that um, sometimes this rubs up against my stick a bit too much. The finger protection, as you can maybe see here is poor versus other blockers out there. So that's one thing I've been really concerned about. I had to actually mod this index finger because the elastic was out to here and just too loose. And I actually took a really nasty puck hit directly off the fingertip and my finger just about exploded. So after that really scared me and um, modded this, but I think if there's something that I might be looking to upgrade in the near future, Probably looking at maybe the blocker in the glove um, at some point. Um, chest protection. I don't think I went through that yet here. So this is the Warrior RGT Senior Large uh, Warrior Chest Protector. Um, overall, decent product uh, for the price. I've been happy with it. Haven't had any significant injuries. Chest area, I think, is exceptional. No issues there. I've had a couple issues sometimes with the arms, uh, where the elbow pad here, and the elbow plastic elbow, is, has either slid down or a little bit up. And there was one um, instance where the puck just squeaked through here and hit me right at the top of the elbow, um, and that really hurt. Uh, so I just have to be mindful of that. I'm not sure what. I'll have to look at some of the other chest protectors and what kind of protection they have uh, in this area, but it's it's a little bit um, loose here, and I think next time I would look for a bit more protection in this area. This arm here, uh, the lower part, the buckle, took a slap shot and it hit the plastic buckle and it exploded. So you can see here, I've got some hockey tape just holding that together. It's doing the trick for now, but down the road, I'll probably have to get that uh, changed. Um, probably similar to other hockey equipment out there. Out of all my equipment, this chest protector smells the most when I play. And so I've had to wash it uh, recently, and that's gotten the stink out of it. And, and for those goalies looking to um, help clean their product, all I did was just shove this right in the washer and put it on um, hand rinse setting and I just wash this and do an extra rinse on it and that really seemed to have done the trick. Um, I also have a dryer that I use to help dry this after every game and I'll probably do a review on that in the future. But overall, happy with this product. Uh, don't plan on changing that product anytime soon. And uh, the pads. So, I've got uh, Warrior uh, G2, Ritual G2s, um, and I've had these since last last year, and picked these up uh, from a guy I know. Um, as you can see, I, I customized them by putting on some uh, pad skins here to add some color. I'm not the biggest fan of just plain white pads, so these were just plain white with gray, and so I added a bit of red and black to spiff them up. So Pad skins have been holding up pretty good, so I've been pleased with that. And then if we look at the back here, um, one of the cool things about this pad is just the modability of it. So you can take this strap here, really 
pull it down to uh, customize it if you really want a tight roll if you have a narrow butterfly, which is really great. Or you can pull it up, straighten it out uh, if you have a wider butterfly. So that's, that's, that's a nice feature that I don't think many other pads have. One of the other benefits of this pad is it's extremely light. These are under five pounds, I believe. Um, I'll have to do a more formal review on these later, but um, that's one of the things I absolutely love about them. The thing I don't like is the slideability, not the greatest slide um, on these. And I think it's just with age and technology, um, just some of the newer pads today offer much better slideability. Um, other things I've had to change, uh, these straps I just upgraded. Uh, Ghoulie Heaven was really great about providing me custom straps. Um, I got rid of the knee lock here, like an open leg channel. And then these straps here I had to get new um, because they were falling apart. The other thing I just got new, which I'm excited to try, are these uh, toe straps uh, with the Velcro, very similar to what uh, Brian's has for their optics. So looking at uh, trying these out to see how those um, uh, work on the ice. But overall, um, these pads are 36 plus one and a half. Uh, maybe a little bit big for me, I would say. I'd probably go down a, a, a size um, to improve a bit of the mo my mobility, but when I'm in these things, it's just, they look massive. Um, so that's, that's nice for me and maybe intimidating some shooter maybe. <laughs> Overall, that's it for um, In the Bag, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and please don't hesitate to like it on YouTube, and uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel and watch some of my other videos and future games that I'll be posting. And uh, if you have any comments, if you have any questions about any of the equipment on here or comments, please share. Um, really looking to... Um, uh, share um, stories in the Goalie community and how we can help each other uh, be the best we can be and have the best equipment that suits our needs. That's it from me, Adam Cooper, Goalies are, and uh, good gaming.